Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome ASUS Tech Chairman, Mr. Johnny Shi. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here with us at the beginning of 2011. 2010 was an amazing year for ASUS. Inspiring innovation, persistent perfection has been driving our growth. Here is a very good example of how we have transformed our innovations to life. Eight products ranging from motherboard, graphics card, router, to my personal favorite, the bamboo notebook, and e-tablet. I will save that for later. Have received the prestigious 2011 CS Innovation Awards. Going green has become the inevitable mega trend. And we are the first PC maker to receive the carbon footprint certificate, which assesses your carbon reduction for the entire product life cycle. And this year, we won the second carbon certificate, carbon footprint certificate for our U53 bamboo notebook, which is the best combination of the green innovation and also the outstanding design. And we are the first one in the world to launch the halogen-free motherboard. So in year 2010, we have won more than 3,000 awards. Please know that this is talking about the real editor's choice, the if design, radar design, or like the G mark or the eco mark. One very important ingredient other than inspiring innovation and persistent perfection is, sorry, go back to here. I think uh, other than showing you a lot of our innovation, we are also very proud of that. We are ranked by many third party as the number one most reliable portable PC. For example, from Rescue.com, as you can see, the computer reliability score this year, compared with the second one, Apple, actually the gap is even bigger, almost three times. And from another third party, Square Trade, they actually investigate your three years return rate compared with the largest PC maker. Actually, we are around 40% less in terms of the three years return rate. And from the IDC report, we are now the world's number three consumer worldwide portable PCs. Prayers. And from this data, you, you can actually see that our year-on-year -year growth is far more significant, significant than all the other players in the marketplace. And we are now the definitely number one in motherboard. Since 1989, when we were founded, we have already shipped more than 420 million motherboards. So the combined length of our motherboard can circle around the globe for three times. 
Okay, so other than the inspiring innovation and persistent perfection, that's two main driving factors for our growth. There is another very important ingredient, ingredients of our success formula. That's choice. We admire companies like Apple, who offers great innovations, but they provide very limited choices for the customers. Different kind of customers, they have different kind of customer, different kind of needs, and the best way to ser better serve them is to provide choice. Some other company they may provide many different kind of choices, but usually this comes from the price tag of low innovation. And Asus would like to provide the best combination of both worlds. That's the innovation plus choice. For example, even in the category of reliability, we also offer different kind of choices. This is our tough serious motherboard is built with the military grade ruggedized components which can withstand extreme heat and thermal shock ranging from minus 40 degrees C to 85 degrees C and its digital voltage regulation actually can provide two times of the power control precision two times of the power efficiency and only half of the radiation. And more important, we offer five years the industry leading warranty. This latest tough series we call the Sabertooth actually is equipped with so-called the thermal armor with the best thermal armor and can protect the entire motherboard to provide the best heat protection and also improve the airflow like no other brand has ever done. And for the gaming, we listen to the gaming community, the Republic of Gamer. Thank you, now it's better. <laughs> So the same, I think that we also try to offer an entire line of products for the choice of champions, including the desktop, the notebook, motherboard, graphics cards, router, and even headsets. So our latest ROG Black Edition with the best Thunderbolt motherboard, and we try to provide the dual band router, which can transfer up to 450 megabit per second. And of course, to be able for the gamer to be immersive in his gaming experience, I think uh, the speed and also the sound is very important. So we also offer this Thunderbolt motherboard, which actually combine the LAN and also the audio amplifier into one in the motherboard. And also we provide the ROG Vulcan active noise cancellation headset. In the business area, we also offer different kind of choices. Our Asus Pro series. We are the first one to adapt ATI Affinity multi-display technology, which is very important for the commercial application like the financial. And also, we are the first one to offer the Boston Power, which has the most eco-friendly battery design, can have three times of the life cycle of the normal battery, and also with the fast charge time, 30 minutes, you can charge up to 80% of the capacity. And also, with the anti-theft Intel VPro, the spill-proof keyboard, the scratch-resistant casing. So this is our Asus Pro series. So as you can see, we offer different kind of choices. 
no matter in the category of reliability or in the category of gaming or in the business. But let's go to the main theme today, the innovation in the cloud. From the day one we launched our EPC, our 3E philosophy has never changed. Easy to learn, work and play. Excellent personal cloud computing experience and exciting multimedia enjoyment. So let me present the first member of our EPAT family, that's the EPAT MIMO. The seven inch one. Okay, let's do something with this stylus. <laughs> I'm not a very good painter. <laughs> Yep, I think just a small demonstration of you know our EPAD demo. I'm not a very good painter, but our EPAD Nemo is really awesome. So this seven inch EPAD Nemo is very shootable especially for on the go, like you know, in the subway, only one hand. With the optimized pen experience, because we support the stylus, and also provide the media node text application. And it runs on Qualcomm Snapdragon, very powerful processor, and Android operating system. It can run 1080p playback, full HD, and you, if you think the seven inch one, actually you can hold it in one hand, it's still too big as a phone. We offer you, as you can see in the slide, a separate Mi Mic Media Phone Extender. Very convenient. Well, then I would like to present our next member of the EPAC family the world's most powerful tablet, the eSlate EP121. If you would like to have the most professional power, the full Windows compatibility, the full Windows productivity. This is it. No compromise. It's a PC, but it's not very PC. Thank you. So, I think this is the most powerful tablet. It's equipped with the 12 inch multi touch wide view angle IPS display, 64 gig solid state drive. More importantly, it runs the Intel Core i5 processors and also the Windows 7 Home Premium. So, no compromise the most powerful tablet in the world.
it can support the Adobe Flash 10.1 and also the video chat with a 2.0 mega webcam. And more importantly, we try to provide multiple input options. So we have the highest resolution Wacom digitizer pen. And you can also use the wireless Bluetooth keyboard. Of course, the multi-touch on-screen virtual keyboard is also supported. Let's have a look at our demo. Hi, Gary. Hi, Johnny. How are you doing today? Very good. How would you like to show us today? Well, my family just uh, finished celebrating the holidays Texas style. Wow. And uh, as a patient father, mm -hmm. I took photos of all my kids uh, basically spending our retirement fund on Christmas presents this wow. year. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So with that said, uh, our demo today, we're, we're actually going to take one of those photos, uh, put it in Photoshop, and then add some effects to it. Oh, so you need a very powerful machine. Yes, yes. absolutely. And before we get uh, to that, we are going to bring up the A-Team and show some 1080p playback for entertainment. Oh, yeah, the, the full HD, yeah, 1080p. Mm -hmm. Right. Very smooth. And then I'll bring up Photoshop. And we will run a, a simple task uh, to convert this photo. So we're importing the photo. Uh, oh, your daughter? Yes. Very beautiful. Yes, she is. That, that comes from her mother, obviously. <laughs> um, so we're uh, running some filters <clears throat> to uh, reduce the noise level take care of the dust and scratches, uh, then we're going to sharpen it, change the image size so I can email it later to you easily, oh. uh, and then actually switch it to black and white and save it to disk. I see. Oh, she did both a lot. Yes. But she is so beautiful. It <laughs> it, I yeah. know. <laughs> but she cost me a pretty penny. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's, that's finished. Finished oh, quickly. So finish that, that's the black and white, right? Yes. Oh, so it's more like an art form. Right. That's great. And of course, the video is still playing without any problems. You know, we, we can switch through the Windows 7. And with that, uh, let's go ahead and open up the photo. And uh, I'm going to email that to you. Thank you. And I'm using the stylus for all of this. <laughs> and, uh, Not a we'll, paycheck, huh? <laughs> we'll give a demonstration on, on the uh, handwriting capabilities here. So let's put uh, your address in there. So. And for everybody out in the audience, that's really not his email. So <laughs> I might bounce back on you. So we'll just insert that. Uh, let's put a subject in here. Something that's near and dear to my heart. Now you just spend too much money. Oh, too much money. Don't worry yeah. about that. <laughs> oh, I know. So, well, you know, actually, let's just kill the money part. And we'll say they'll spend too much of my money. <laughs> and so we'll insert that and then simply hit the send button and hopefully with the wireless transmission in the room you should receive that shortly. Okay. Thank you, Gary. Thank you very much. Yeah, so here's it. So I think I really like what you did. So I would like to add it to my next PowerPoint presentation. Yep. That's great. That's it. Yep. Thank you.
So, next in line, I would like to present another of our weapon. That's the EPAD transformer when smart mobility and productivity meets casual computing. Okay. Thank you. Well, you know, with the docking station, actually, this EPAC transformer provides the best mobility. It can extend the battery hour up to 16 hours, according to our best estimation. And you get a full-size keyboard, additional USB ports, and car reader. It's a 10 inch 1280 by 800 capacitive and also the wide view angle IPS. And its thickness is less than iPad, only 12.98 millimeter. Dual cameras, and it can run the full HD 1080p playback. Supports the Adobe Flash. Equipped with the most powerful ARM processor, dual core, Core Tex A9, is the out of order execution around twice the performance of the iPad A4, and with very good graphics capability from NVIDIA. So it can provide the fastest web browsing and multitasking capability, support the fastest flash video performance. Let's have to look at the demo again. Gary? So, so what would you like to show the audience the EPAD transformer can do? Well, what we're uh, going to show right now is basically just the, uh, the initial interface. And if you've used the Android, this, this looks uh, very familiar. Mm -hmm. Very responsive. Uh, yes, very responsive. And um, what team. ASUS has uh, created is a uh, interface called MyWave. And with MyWave, we will have uh, several uh, widgets, uh, one being MyZine, uh, which stores uh, all of your music, uh, full cataloging and uh, notification of updates uh, based upon your choices in music, and uh, certainly a, a very nice playback app uh, within this. Awesome. Uh, we have my library, uh, which will store all your uh, e-books and or e-magazines. And then we kind of get to the star of the show today, and that's my gallery, uh, which is a full gallery of all your media content. Mm -hmm. And with this, you can use our WaveShare application uh, to wirelessly uh, stream via DLNA uh, to other devices in your house. And so our demo today, which I'm hoping will work because uh, the network guys just told me that due to all the wireless devices in here that our transmission rates are down about 90%. Uh, but we're gonna give it a shot here and uh, play a 1080 video real quick. 
Uh, and this is streaming to our U35JC notebook and then uh, to the monitor here that you're going to see. I think the, the content's very good. And while that's playing, uh, we're going to show the multitasking capabilities of the Tegra 2. So we'll just put that in the background. I'm going to take the unit here and open up the browser to our uh, Facebook page. And dock it. And with the doc now, I, I can use the keyboard uh, for creating uh, written content. Uh, it, this is absolutely great, especially yeah, for yeah, but I think that's email exactly what or, the audience will ask, right? Yeah, what, or, uh, yeah, what word, the you know, word transformer can do. Yep. So uh, with that, uh, we'll just type in CU at CES and submit that. And that's been posted up uh, at our Facebook page. And we can go back to the desktop. And then the last item is basically, it's real easy. Just shut the notebook, which is now a notebook with the docking station. And you can carry it off with you, as I'm going to do now. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. It's really impressive. Well, the last gift I would like to present to you is our e patch lighter, a unique hybrid of tablet and portable PC. So you got the keyboard all the time. Well, so this e slider, even with a keyboard, it weighs less than two pounds, and it's less than two-thirds of the inch. And again, it's also powered by the most powerful NVIDIA Tegra 2 dual-code processor with the Android Honeycomb operating system. The same 10 inch IPS wide view angle, multi pass display, but with the four QWERTY keyboards, dual cameras, support wireless N, HDMI, USB, and card reader. Well, let's see the demo again. It's starting to feel like I live up here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> wrong direction. All right. Nah, it's fun, <laughs> very fun. So with the uh, slider here, we had the same uh, capabilities as we saw in the transformer, so no difference. Same hardware, uh, same MyWave interface. Uh, but the one really nice thing about this is obviously the keyboard. And we're just going to do a quick keyboard demo uh, with the email. And uh, so we'll just send this. 
and excuse my typing because I'm having to use one finger. Why don't you put in the table so that you can use two finger? Oh, yeah. Well, okay, is that good on the <laughs> view there? So, subject uh, CES. Oops, last year. And then basically, you know, real quick to compose the message. Uh, the uh, you know demos did not fail, so I get to keep my job. <laughs> <laughs> and then, well, uh, oh, sorry about that. I'll highlight that and uh, send that off. Right. And that's it with the slider. Okay. Thank okay. you, Gary. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, so here is a very quick wrap up of our selections. We would like to provide the widest choices for the real personal cloud computing. So this is the price range and also the availability schedule. Okay. So other than trying to provide the most complete wide choices for the personal cloud computing, we also would like to provide you the best user interface environment which can offer seamless mobility kind of experience. So with the technique of the time shift, location shift, or, and also some cloud computing technique, we'd like to provide you the uninterrupted kind of seamless mobility experience, no matter where you are, at home, on the go, in the office, at a cafe. So this is what we really would like to do by our web face. We haven't finished the whole web face yet, but I think uh, that's our aim, to provide the best seamless mobility. So this is the web face, all for the seamless mobility, and together with the most complete, our e solutions. Well, then I would like to share with you one of my vision. I heard of many sayings that a pet device without a good input, good productivity, is okay for casual passive computing. It sounds right. But don't forget, for the new personal cloud computing era, the real beauty is the Web 2.0. So what's the beauty of the Web 2.0? With the best cooperation between the cloud computing, personal computing by Silicon Brain, it has also trying to invite more human brain, carbon brain involvement, to contribute more real-time information, more preferences, more knowledge, more creativity, more strategy. So still needs the input from the carbon brain, from the human. Those areas are what you know, the silicon brain cannot do very well. So that's the real meaning of the Web 2.0. Invite more input. So together, from the second brain, together with the carbon brain together, offer the best intelligence productivity of the whole world. That's the beauty of the Web 2.0. So that's why Facebook, Twitter, Wikipedia, 
online game. Prevail. So that's the real beauty of the Web 2.0. And now plus the IoT, Internet of Things. We put the silicon brain also into the things. We can always sense them, control them. But the eventual goal is always to serve people. So this is the real beauty of the new personal cloud computing. How to make all the people enjoy the best digital new life in a more real time, real place, knowing where you are, right? Showing your, where is your friends, where is the parking space, where is the point of interest, real human. Make it the real best human interface for you. So that's why we are doing you know, the, the wave face. So I think uh, this is the real concept of the Web 2.0. We believe you need to have the best personal cloud computing devices with the wide choices and can support you very good input and productivity so that you can really contribute to the Web 2.0, to the IoT. And here I'd like to introduce another concept because of this new digital era. It's called the DIY 2.0. So through the combination of the web face, and we also believe to make so many different family enjoy the real personal cloud computing advantage. I think each home may need a home CIO, okay? So this CIO has to be responsible for planning the whole family, including the most powerful gaming, right? Video conferencing. When you go outside together, you know, you would like to create a video creation and also try to offer the other member of the family the seamless, integrated life of work, learn, and play. Nowadays, you know, it's very difficult to separate the learn and work and play. When a student doing the homework, is he learning or is he working? So I think uh, that's why we still believe, you know, the input and productivity is so important. That's the real beauty of the Web 2.0. And so we would like to introduce the new concept of DIY 2.0. We would like to make this web phase together with a very good training program and infrastructure so that each home CIO can sort of like doing the DIY. We would like to make it so easy. So this is what we really mean by the DIY 2.0. Well, so this is really what I would like to share with you about my vision about the new personal cloud computing error. And lastly, I would like to also share with you some of the dreams from our ASUS Design Center and our Da Vinci Innovation Lab to show you what's our more advanced vision about the new digital life. Oh, before that, let me just you know, try to wrap up. So I mentioned about our ASUS DNA, our brand promise, inspiring innovation, persistent perfection, our quality, reliability, that actually drive our growth. And a very important difference that compared with other companies, other than innovation and quality, we also provide choices. Okay, so no matter from our different kind of existing products or the most important theme today, the EPAD family, we all like to provide the best choices for our customers to enjoy the real new digital life. And we talk about the wave face, we aim to provide a seamless mobility. And the DIY 2.0, So lastly, I would like to share with you some of our dream about the future new digital life. It's called IRIS. From our ASUS Design Center, 
and also our Da Vinci Innovation Lab. Please enjoy the video. So this is called IRIS, Inspirational Research of in Immersive Space. So with this last video showing our dream from our Exo Design Center and our Da Vinci Innovation Lab, I would like to thank you for spending your valuable time with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>